The city now has a total of 49 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and Mayor Luke Bronin calling on the people of Hartford to social distance as we continue to combat the virus. Mayor Luke Bronin looking for medical volunteers as COVID-19 cases increase. We have activated the Medical Reserve Corps uh, in partnership with the state, seeking uh, volunteer uh, effort uh, of uh, individuals who uh, may have uh, previously served as nurses or doctors. Out of the 49 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Hartford, nine are members of the police department and one is an employee of the Department of Public Works. As local hospitals prepare for a surge in patients, the mayor says the city is now working to give first responders other housing options, minimizing risk to their families. We are working closely with the University of Hartford to uh, finalize an agreement on the use of dormitory space to uh, provide housing for our first responders, uh, for those first responders who choose not to go back to their homes because they're concerned about uh, exposure for their families. Alongside the mayor, Superintendent Dr. Leslie Torres Rodriguez discussing the district's first day of distance learning, sharing nearly 60% of students are not accessing online learning tools. In all honesty, Hartford Public Schools has been late to the game or to the practice, to the uh, pedagogy with regard to distance learning, right? The resources have not, have not been there. We know that there are families that don't have access to technology and we will continue. We will move whatever mountains we have to move to make sure that our students have the access. Torres Rodriguez says the district is creating a 10 week distance learning plan that would take students until the end of June and is also considering the fact in class learning may not be able to resume come fall. We are being very mindful of how is it that we can sustain some of this uh, processes and protocols uh, beyond the crisis that we have in front of us. The mayor also discussed new efforts to reduce crowding in homeless shelters, stating the city has moved nearly 75 people from shelters to hotels and all shelters now have an isolation space. We're not only focused on the amount of space between each bed, but also the number of people in any one room or any one floor of a facility. And the city's warming center at Milner School along Vine Street was scheduled to close this week, but will now remain open as a 24-hour shelter. Reporting in Hartford, Sania Maldonado, Fox 61 News.